Hey guys, it's Wolfenix here, and as you can see, some things have changed over the past week because I haven't uploaded since like last weekend, and it's already like Tuesday. I'm recording this at 12:41 a.m., uh, which is pretty late. It's not that late for me, honestly, but it's pretty late for most people. And I just want to be talking about a few things that like in, um, that have changed about this channel, all the plans I have for the future. Yeah, just the things I've been working on. So, the first thing I just want to talk about is the elephant in the room, which is, of course, my name. If you don't know, my name used to be Legendary Wolf 43, and now it's now I changed it to Wolfenix. So, now my name is Wolfenix, and I think I really like it. So, how did I choose this name? Well, I first thought that, like, oh, Legendary Wolf 43 is just my Xbox username, and it's really boring. It's not like anything that's fun, it's not like anything exciting, and I realized it was already taken. It, there's literally a Legendary Wolf 45 that I talked to, and if you search up Legendary Wolf 43 on YouTube, you get like Hypixel Skyblock um, videos about like the Legendary Wolf had some Red Dead Redemption videos, and it's just not that great. So I wanted something uh, very original and very unique, and I thought, what, hmm, what, what should I make it? So I realized that um, I wanted to be made out of um, the word wolf, and because wolf is my is the animal I relate to, relate the most to. Gosh, I can't speak. But yeah, wolf is the animal I relate to the most to, and I really wanted to uh, base something on that. So I started with the word wolf, but then I realized the word wolf itself is just boring. So I changed up the spelling and I put a ph there instead of an f. So, uh, now it's W-O-L-P-H, and that's how I started, got the first part of my name. So, what my first plan was to go with uh, that, but with an E at the end. So, W-O-L-P-H-E. Wolf. Just wolf. And I was like, okay, uh, this is good. Then I looked online. I looked at, I searched up YouTube, I searched everywhere, and it was taken. Like, it was fully taken. I couldn't use that. So, I, th I had to think of another name. And I kept, I kept uh, looking... I almost settled on Sir Wolf, but I realized that's a bit too far, that's a bit too formal, I didn't like that. And so, I talked to my friend, and I was like, hmm, dinosaurs are pretty cool. And how dinosaurs came into my mind is because there's this YouTuber, Bad Wars YouTuber, you probably heard of him. Uh, his name is Xyphalopagus, and as you can see, his username does sound like a dinosaur. So that's kind of what I was going for, I thought Xyphalopagus is a really cool name, it's really funny. And he goes by Zyph, which is really cool also. So I wanted to do something like that. So I literally went on Google, and I looked up a list of dinosaur names, just every single dinosaur. And the first one, it was in alphabetical order. The first one, I can't remember what exactly it was, but the first one ended in O-N-Y-X. And oh my god, I fell in love with that. I Like, the word onyx... Or just like the suffix of onyx that that just sounds so good and like I, I just cannot believe it and so I decided to call myself Wolfenix because uh, Wolfonix is what my friends thought it was pronounced as but it's not it's Wolfenix and I and they said that once they hear that how it's actually pronounced it sounds really cool so thankfully all my friends support that name now and I think I made a pretty good decision so I start working on the logo the logo, oh my god, I'll probably try showing a few of the iterations on screen, but the one I settled on is the one I have currently, and I think it looks really good. It's pretty much the same as my previous logo, which is just the same thing, but instead of a W, it's LW, because Legendary Wolf. And now I remember the W, I made the, sorry, I remember the L, and I made the W like in the middle, and a different font. And I did that kind of notch on the side, so it like blends in better. Because I was looking, I literally searched the letter W online, went to images and started scrolling through and I found something that looked like that so I changed up the color schemes I changed some other stuff to uh, correct the font on the W and now I have what you can see right now so I'll be using that and that's pretty much it for her my channel banner oh yeah, my, actually my channel banner is also changed of course it's um, it's pretty much the same thing, honestly. It's just Wolfenix and then my logo. I'll probably put something else. I'll probably put like um, some my other social media, like 
I don't know. I don't really have any other social media, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for me rebranding my entire channel. And I actually did the same thing on like on Discord also. So if you find a Wolfenix on Discord, that's me. And if you don't find Legendary Wolf 43, that's because I renamed myself to Wolfenix on Discord also. So that you'll just have to keep a lookout for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the next thing I want to talk about is, of course, as you can see, something is different about my recording style. First of all, in the top right corner, there's a FPS counter, but it, honestly, I don't really believe it. it. Just travels between 60 FPS and 61 FPS. That's like all it does. It gets kind of accurate, but like, it, I think it has a max frame rate of six, 61 FPS, and that's like all it detects. Because I know my computer is definitely running more than 61 FPS. Because my computer is actually really powerful now compared to what I used to record. Uh, I think if you go, if you scroll down in my videos, I can't remember. I think the last video I recorded with my old computer was Skywars with Mike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check that actually. Okay, actually, I just checked. The last video I recorded with my old computer was a speed bridging video. Had to speed bridge Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You should go watch it. But um, it was so bad. Like I was using Bandicam. The I was my the Minecraft game was lagging even though it was like a single player world I was getting like 20 FPS and now with this new computer I'm really happy uh, literally the next video after that I talk about the new computer uh, and yeah so actually in that next video that I just talked about the so it's called so I got the best Christmas gift it has like 19 views right now posted that like two months ago and that one I actually recorded that with OBS and I did not know anything about how to record videos, so the quality was so bad, like my bitrate was completely dropping, the, it, the screen went all the way down to like 144p and then jumped back up to 4k, it, it's, it's just really bad, and um, so I had to, s before, I didn't want to like spend so much time looking at tutorials on how to set up OBS and stuff, because that's just too much time, so I switched to this NVIDIA uh, control, NVIDIA GeForce experience recorder and I played I played around with that for like let's see one two three four five six seven around the seven to eight videos and that's what I used but for this video that I recorded that you're seeing right now I actually changed that so now it's uh, recorded with OBS again and I actually went through the time set up everything and uh, changed all the settings just so that I could use OBS and the reason for that is because if you watched my old, or not old, but like the previous videos before this one that was recorded using NVIDIA, uh, the mic quality is so bad. Like, uh, you can hear an absolute hurricane in the background, and it's so annoying. And OBS lets me control, like, the audio specifically. And one thing I've noticed is, I don't know why, see, I use my headset mic, so the mic is, like, connected to my headset, and if you know how those work, it's clearly closer to your mouth than your keyboard and mouse. But the keyboard and mouse on this, with using OBS, is so loud. Like, it's almost as loud as my mouth, or my just voice in general. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, I'm so far away from, like, the keyboard and mouse that uh, it just sounds weird. But right now, I'm not going to press anything on the keyboard because I don't want to. But um, uh, this is just, like, a commentary over a video because I don't want to talk about this, like while playing Bed Wars. The Bed Wars game that's playing in the background is actually really intense and I didn't want to like spend too much time or uh, just like stuttering and like uh, getting distracted from what I was talking about because I need to get really, I need to get better at that. I need to get better at commentating while I'm playing uh, because I feel like that'll help my channel grow, I guess, uh, if I have more confidence in what I'm saying because I feel like uh, if you're doing a commentary or just if you're talking in a YouTube video and you're going along or you're making it up as you go along then it gets really hard to like uh, commentate it's 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 really hard to multitask well especially when you're playing an intense game like Minecraft on a server but like if you're playing a survival world or a creative world then it should be pretty much fine but if you're a PvP person and I don't know if you've tried this before, but it's really difficult to com to commentate over it. And if you go to my previous videos, like 
uh, if you go to my Skywars with Mike on Hyperlands MC, if you go to that video, and if you listen to it, I'm so bad at commentating over the over playing in that video, and I just I kept messing up words, like, and had to like edit stuff out. My dad even walked in at some point, and um, it was so annoying. So uh, I feel like until I get better at that, then I'll just be doing uh, commentaries over a video. So that's pretty much it. Um, now, I, if you go to my video called like Simply PvP of Minecraft Bedrock Pack Showcase, um, I also talked about like how I did make this in Java. Is is the pack I'm using right now? This is the pack you can see on screen, and I did make some changes to it. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how to get a custom sky, and I do have a custom sky in mind. Like it's just not working for me. I don't know why. I'll I'll figure that out. But um, if you've noticed, the diamond blocks, the diamond blocks, the diamond ore and the diamond itself are all animated because I saw the blue pink and the the blue to pink gradient and I wanted it to like have some animation because diamond is my favorite ore so I decided to make like the this zooming around thing I don't know if you can see it very well I didn't really show you during the video but that's it looks really good I feel like it looks really good it kind of makes the diamond stand out compared to other ores and uh, yeah so I'll once I learned how to animate textures, I like went crazy and I started animating everything. But I realized, oh, uh, this is not going to be good for FPS because, again, the whole idea of the pack is um, to be FPS friendly, and uh, animations are, and that are not going to help. Also, the sky is something I'm really worried about because the sky is really high resolution, and I don't know how that's going to affect the FPS. Uh, I feel like it will, like dramatically, but I'm really not sure. And I want it to be like a, a non-dramatic FPS drop when you put on the sky and yeah because see when I was playing on my old PC if you go back I believe I don't know when but like I used to record uh, Minecraft videos with literally um, no texture pack at all and the video is so laggy like it, it freezes sometimes it goes down to like 10 FPS once I started using my uh, FPS pack, it definitely I saw an FPS improvement in the gameplay itself, but I couldn't really see much in the video. But that's um, that's fine. I could fix that. But like with this new PC, of course, I don't really have a problem with FPS. But I want to make this pack for like uh, people who have like potato PCs and uh, they really need to have a fix for FPS and stuff like that. So that's what I'm trying to go with with this pack, and yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the pack. So one thing I talked about, like when I switched to OBS recording, I my first video plan was to record. Um, I wanted to build this like treehouse in Minecraft. I really don't know what I was doing. I put on shaders and I started like building this house. I recorded this 48 minute long video about just me building a treehouse and talking about it and I didn't know what was going through my mind I was just like okay maybe this could be like a series or something I was like no this is not what I do I'm, I I suck at building building is probably like the worst thing I could do in Minecraft um, I'm more of like a PvP guy I'm more that kind of person but uh, I made that video uh, it was like a 57 gigabyte file and I realized after I filmed it that it was an MKV format and literally every single um, video editor that I use does not support MKV. But I, like OBS for some reason default switch to MKV because it said like MV4 corrupts when you export it and stuff. But now I switched to MP4 because I didn't really see a problem with that. Hopefully I won't have problems with it and uh, hopefully I won't go back to MKV recording because it's really a pain. It increases the file size a lot. Nothing really changes, honestly. I don't see a difference between MP4 and MKV. Like everyone online just tells me to use MKV, and like, why? It does. It doesn't like show any difference. Uh, and I haven't had any like corruption problems, which is what they said would happen. So that's one thing. And so I recorded that treehouse video, the stupid treehouse video, and I was gonna test. Uh, um, I had a list of like different video editors that I had to use so I wanted to try DaVinci Resolve but like signing up for that it needed my like full name phone number 
email address and like all this personal information that I didn't really think was uh, that necessary. So I was like, no, I'm not using DaVinci Resolve. Even though like everyone says it's like the best thing ever, I did not use it because I don't want them to like spam my phone number with messages and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing. And so I switched from DaVinci Resolve. I deleted that program because I don't want it to waste space on my computer. And I went to Shotcut. Now Shotcut is, uh, it's a pretty good video editor. It's like actually really good. I It's really easy to learn, but the lag, like, the lag is so annoying. It, it lagged so much. It was, like, dropping to two frames per second. Like, um, there was a part in that Treehouse video that I filmed um, that I tried to edit. Uh, I wanted to, like, speed it up, go do, like, a time-lapse kind of thing. And when I sped it up, it took, like, six minutes to re render, like, the sped-up version of the video. And when I did, the video sped-up version would play, like, at one FPS. Like, it'll, like, play a frame and then it would wait like five seconds and like it play the next frame it was so annoying and I just gave up on that so I deleted that and I kept looking I kept looking I downloaded so many things and I found this thing called hit film express which um, is what I'm trying to use right now this is the first video I'm editing with hit film express honestly it's really confusing they wanted me to buy a license at the start uh, for free. They said buy a free license now and when I clicked on it, it literally, it's literally the, the download link to the HitFilm Express that I already have. So that was weird so I just ignored that and one thing I hate about this, it's it's on light mode. There's um, dark mode, you have to pay to get dark mode. Like why? Why, why do you need to pay to get dark mode? That's just dumb. <laughs> so uh, I had to kind of play on dark mode or not. Uh, I had to kind of edit videos on light mode and it's really bright. I hate light mode everything. I have dark, like my entire computer, everything, every uh, app I have on my computer is dark mode except hit Film Express because I have to pay for it. Uh, yeah, and I'm not really like that big on money so I can't really do anything uh, with uh, video editing. That's really powerful. I wanted to use like Wondershare for more because everyone says it's good and everyone says it's free. But wa watermark. I do not want to deal with my watermarks again. I hate watermarks. They're so annoying. And everything about Wondershare for more was good except the watermark. And again, I don't want to pay to get the watermark off. And they have this like process. I don't know how. But they have this process to like remove the watermark after every time you upload a video. But I was like, no, that's too much hassle. Might as well find something different. But yeah, I'm using HitFilm Express now, and it's fine. Honestly, I don't have that much experience with it. I just started. This is technically my first video with HitFilm Express that I'm editing, and it's not easy to learn. I can't figure out what any of the buttons do. There's so many like weird features, and I'll just be trying to figuring figure that out on the way. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And I remember, uh, in, I think one of the videos I think it was the Hypixel Bed Wars video, the Hypixel Bed Wars experience. That video I mentioned that I was gonna make a Bedrock Edition video, and then the next week gonna make a Hypixel video, or like not a Hypixel, like a Java Edition video. And I haven't really kept up with that because last week I did film a a Hypixel. Uh, video and then this this week I'm also filming a high pixel video so I don't know because like the thing is I don't know what to do on Bedrock Edition like you guys have seen so many things on Sky Wars and stuff like that it's it's just kind of boring uh, to do the same things over and I really like exploring new servers and stuff like that and Bedrock Edition doesn't have that many good servers like I could do some Hive stuff but it's not the same as like high pixel and stuff like that. And one more thing that I have, I want to talk about is like my next video, which my next video I'm planning to do uh, is how to b make your aim better in Minecraft PvP. So I've dr drastically improved my aim compared to like I think um, one big thing is I don't remember. So back like a year ago when I made my first high video, I. Uh, <laughs> That's when I used to have like a really bad mouse, really low mouse space, and I used to wrist aim. And my my aim, if you go watch that video, I'll probably put like a link in the description. But if you go watch that video, it has 
my aim was so bad. I like I just couldn't do anything. I I sucked at it and after I got into Hyperlands, Hyperlands really got me into like PVP in general. I started watching like YouTubers play. That's when I started watching like Hypixel Bedwars. I really started getting into it. And uh, by the time I learned how to like butterfly quick properly, how to uh, aim with my arm instead of my wrist, and decrease my sensitivity, it took a lot of getting used to. But I'll just talk about that video later. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you again. Bye.